Schroeder, we're going to have negative 2.91. But notice we still have a minus, a negative, just like we had over here. What does this become, folks? Positive. Plus. Can you guys see the similarity between this problem that we're working on and the one we just have mastered already? Yeah. Nudge ahead if you can. Yeah? Now, the signs were the same or different here? One's positive, one's negative. Do we have the same sign or different signs? Different. 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 Are you going to add them or subtract them? Subtract. subtract. You're going to subtract them. Now, when you subtract, Carmelo, this is going to answer your question. When you subtract them, you can't do 2.91 minus 4.2. You can't do it. You have nothing to subtract here. It's not going to work. So when we say subtract, you're subtracting like you normally would do any sort of subtraction. Just like you did over here, you did 4 minus 2. That's how you got the 2. Over here, you're going to take the 4.2 minus 2.91. The reason is, is because whatever answer you get here, you've already taken care of the sign. Ladies and gentlemen, look back at the board with me, please. What's our sign going to be? Are we going to have a positive or a negative answer here? Positive. positive. We're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. That's going to be positive. We've already determined that. Now all you have to do is subtract. So go ahead and subtract this. What do we need to do to subtract this one? Zero. Add a zero, great, because we want them the same length. What's the next thing we got to do sub to subtract them? Borrow. That's going to become a one, that becomes a ten, you get nine. What now? Borrow. That becomes a three, that becomes eleven, that is a... Two. What else do we have? One. One. So, the answer that we got here was 1.29. Now, am I going to keep it positive 1.29 or change it to negative 1.29? Keep it positive. Definitely. Why? Because we did our addition rule. That's the whole process here. You know how to add and subtract decimals. You know that already. We're just applying the addition rule to that. How many people feel okay with what we talked about so far? Good. Now, I do got to show you that we can't also evaluate. Do you remember what evaluate means, as a matter of fact? Evaluate doesn't necessarily mean multiply. Evaluate means that we plug in and solve. We've got to plug it in. And whatever we plug in, then we're going to evaluate. We're going to figure out a numerical answer, in other words. So let's evaluate. We'll do x minus y. Hey, what's the first thing you do when you evaluate? That should look familiar to you. What do you do? Plug in. Let's do it. How much is x? 6.7431. So that's the first thing I'll write. Now, this minus, does that minus count for that negative? No. no. So you're saying I should have this regardless of what y is, true? Yes. How much is y? Negative 2.48. How am I going to show that? <laughs> what might I want to have? Right. Right. Okay, so I'm subtracting something. If it's a negative number, I might want to show that it's negative by having that in parentheses. Can you do that problem? Yes. Tell me the first thing you might do. Change the sign. What's it become? Positive. That's the way we do that, right? We change that so we can use the addition rule. So we're going to have 6.731 plus 2.48. Hey, that's kind of a nice problem. We've got a positive plus a positive. We know we're just going to add those like, num like normal. So down here, maybe we put the 6.731 on the top, 2.48 on the bottom. Of course, we're lining up the decimal places. We'll add them. We'll get a 1 in the thousandths. 11 in the hundredths, we're going to carry that. We'll have 12 in the tenths, we'll carry that. And we'll get 9.211. Positive or negative? Positive. Yeah, you're just adding positives here. 
What I'd like from you now, try these next couple problems. Make sure we're using addition rule like we have before. Again, if you get stuck on it, you're like, ah, oh, man, I don't know how to do that. Translate it into something you do know. Just take off the decimal places temporarily to give your mind an idea about what you're doing. Sometimes this all gets very confused with all those numbers going on. But if you think of this, instead of the 0.86 and the 0.3, it's just negative 2 minus 10. Sometimes that'll jog your memory. Go, oh, yeah. Then do the same exact thing on that problem. So try these, let's do three problems. By the way, do you know that your next test is a week from today? Yes. If you didn't, you know now. Your test review is actually already up <laughs> on the internet. I put it up um, last, I'm sorry, no, it will be up. It will be up tomorrow. Uh, I'll put it up there Tuesday. I'll get the answers for you on Wednesday. Okie dokie. So you can start studying now. That's really what you should be doing. Remember, in order to study for math, it's not like normal classes. Normal classes, you can study at the end of it and usually kind of get it. But if you haven't done some of the material in a while, you lose that information. Uh, the method for studying for math is called spiraling. Once in a while, before you start your new homework, take 10 minutes, review old stuff. That's the, that's the way you do it, just so it makes it fresh in your head. Otherwise, you're going to lose pieces of it. Now's the time to start doing that, not the night before, but like right now. Start every, every night, just 10, 15 minutes, look over the old stuff, make sure you're familiar with it, make sure you remember what those problems look like, then do your homework. Okay? It'll be up tomorrow. The test review will be up tomorrow. The answers will probably be up uh, tomorrow night or Wednesday. Okay? <coughs> so work on these two problems. I'll put an evaluation one over here. I'll be walking around. If you need help with this, now's the time. So I know I gave you more than two at a time, can you still do it? Yeah. Okay, good. Do the first two, then do the last one. Okay, we're about to go on the second another 30 seconds or so and wrap this up.
All right. So when you're dealing with these multiple step problems, deal with it like you would any other order of operations. Go through the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Here we only have addition, subtraction. Do it two at a time from the left. That's fine. That's exactly how I've been learning this stuff. So when we deal with this first problem, we're going to kind of ignore that 2.19 for just a second and deal with just these two. Now, it's set up for the addition rule already. Are the signs the same or different, ladies and gentlemen? Same. Same signs. Great. Are we going to add or subtract? Add. So off to the side, we're going to add those two numbers. Remember, the signs don't really matter over here because we've... We're already using the addition rule to take care of those signs for us. So here we'll get, let's see, 10.89. Did you get 10.89? So we're going to write that this piece is 10.89. True or false? Negative. Why negative? Oh, I see. So addition rule says same sign, add them together, keep the common sign. So we've got to have negative 10.89. Raise your hand if you got that part right. Good. Now are we done? No. If you didn't, watch addition rule. If you didn't get that right, check out the addition rule. Notice that we are adding two different or two same signs. We're going to add those together and keep that negative. Yeah, we're not done. You guys are correct because we got this 2.19 hanging on the end of that thing. Will the addition rule still work? Yeah. Sure. Do we have the same sign or different signs now? Different. Are we going to add them or subtract them? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, for sure, it's still going to work. The addition rule is still going to work. We just have to know when we're going to add them and we're going to subtract them. Same signs, we add them together. Different signs, we subtract them from one another. Now, which one is going to go on the top? The 10.89 or the 2.18? Notice how when we do it off to the side, for subtraction, we do have to have the larger number on the top. And we subtract. Also notice that I'm, I don't have any signs. I don't need to worry about the signs because the addition rule takes care of the signs for you. Our, we know our answer is supposed to be what? Positive or negative? negative. It's going to be a negative. The bigger number is negative. So that's all we're taking care of. Now we just have to do the subtraction. We'll get 8.70 or 8.7. And this was, what was it again? Negative. By a show, man, show of hands, how many people got negative 8.70? You can put the zero, but you don't have to. Remember at the end of that number, that zero really doesn't do much. $8.7 or $8.70 dollars, same thing. Check out the example like this again. You're going to have something like that on your test. Now, for the last one, last one. Again, we're going to do this two by two from the left-hand side. So we'll look at the first two numbers. We'll ignore this last decimal for just a bit. So negative 1.6 plus 7.9. Are we going to add those or subtract those numbers, folks? Subtract. Yeah, we get different signs. Addition rule says we're going to subtract them. So we'll take 1.6 minus 7.9 or 7.9 minus 1.6. Which one? 7.9 minus 1.6. If I subtract them, we'll get 6.3. True? 